Welcome back to more modded Android Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. I was thinking about it, and we don't really have a reason to go into the Beck base right now. Not yet. So we're going to continue on in the lower city, which is basically just this one hallway. We're going to check some stuff out. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? I love the new look for these guys. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. Okay. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sercha! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. All right, so... Well, so here he is. Look at him, he looks amazing! Look at his armor! Wait, is he... is he see-through? Maybe that's just reflective. That... no! Wait a minute! That's so weird! Why is that... can you see, like, between the... obviously that's like the Punisher skull. Look, you can see me through his armor! Oh, that's weird. I feel like I wasn't like that before. I've checked out that mod before... That's just weird. That's just weird. Look at look right, right like that. You can see right through him. The armor itself is amazing, aside from that, as long as he's, you know, in front of something dark. It's uh it doesn't have any stats, it's just clothing. Oh, that's that's gonna bother me. I love his gun. That gun is his heavy blaster. It's from Weapons of the Old Republic. It's a total reskin. It looks like a serious gun now. But that's amazing. Okay, I think we have to talk to him. I mean, not have to. Those vultures are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden becks in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. You can also see, he's, um, the, the clothes that Candorous has is the, um, I think they're just called Mandalorian Candorous clothes or something. He just disappeared. Um, but his head, you can see it's a little bit softer. It's a high, um, resolution or a high definition uh, a head bike by Quanin. He did the Zalbar one and he did the Candorous one. I have both of them. There weren't any like really good, different looking Candorous mods, so I just kind of. kind of took that one. It looked great. I think we have to fight these guys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ah, I didn't get... Oh! Man, Karth is getting the hits in! There we go. Alright, any stuff? No stuff. Oh, shoot! Okay, I'll be going now. I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna put my Sith uniform on. I'm gonna hide behind this this wreckage of this thing. We're gonna put our Sith uniform. Do I still have them? Yes. All right, here we go. Hold on. Where do you think you're going? This area is restricted to undercity patrols. Without the proper security papers, I can't let you pass. I forgot my security papers back at the base. I don't know how they do things in the upper city, but down here, we follow our orders to the letter. 
without your security papers, I can't let you past. So just march on back to the base, talk to your commanding officer, and tell him you need the security papers. Otherwise, you ain't getting down. Okay. So now we go back to the Beck base, and we see what's what. That's the only place we haven't gone to yet. No, I, I don't need to. I don't need to do that. Do I? Do I need to go back to base? Uh, we can take these off. What? Maybe. Oh, more apartments. Maybe there's a bounty in here. For some reason, because oh, oh, hello. Chiwi, I taka chong chicha, agi inko tune kuna muli ra, chio kaku inba muli ra wana ji kuyami juuski chika nai uba baska wana chicha. Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just kanki to pets ni mo chi ita kanki chan na kilikon. That's the Okay. All right, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't I may have never been in these apartments before. Oh, it's more black bulkers. Alright, it's fine. Who's in here? We might find a bounty. I Ooh, cannot buddy. render assistance, citizen. Move along. I will take your medical supplies. Can't use that. Swoop platform. Shut up. Is this is this Kotor? One restoration, or was this always here? I have no idea. Whoa! What? What's what's going on, soldier? Limits because of the riot after the last race, you Teresians couldn't handle crowd control, so we're shutting down the swoop track. Just move along. Okay. Wow. Okay, guys. I can honestly say I have never been to this place before. Let's talk to the janitor. Gotta sweep and clean. Gotta have this place sparkly shiny for when the crowds show up. This area is off limits. All right, all right, all right. All right. This area is they all say the same thing. The right after the last race. If this place ain't sparkly. All right. What about the lower fans? I don't know why fans? teams keep letting riders come in with those experimental new swoop engines. I saw two riders killed when their engines exploded last year alone. I love this place. You can still smell the exhaust from the swoop bikes. I can't wait for this. Is there any loot? What what is that thing? Oh, it's just a just a base. Pazak cards? Awesome. Alright, let's see if we can go oh a junk pile. Stun ray, some credits. I'll take it. Can't go in there. Alright! I don't know why this place is here. That's so cool! I think this might be KOTOR 1 Restoration, or it might be a place that I've missed every single time I've ever played this. I don't know. That was kind of neat. That was kind of fun. Okay. Alright, let's continue on. Let's kill these guys. What's up, guys? Oh, they got stun sticks! Why, why can't... Why do my powers never work on these guys? It might be... Simply too low level. That might be a thing. Alright, what's in here? Some guys that want to fight. Alright, let's just do regular attacks. Oh, they're easy to kill. Get in there. Karth stealing my kills. Alright, I'll loot your stuff. This isn't very Jedi like behavior, but, you know, they attacked us first. Drag grenade. Some random stuff going on. More guys. 
I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe a bounty's in here. Ooh, there's something over there. Gas mine, strong box, black Volker scout. Are you gonna attack me? Yes. Okay. Let's fight. Shoot him. Oh, are we still fighting? I I don't have any force point. Mine right here. Deactivate it. Middle of a battle. Karth is pretty amazing with his pistols. Alright. Now, here's a desk. That's probably how we. Oh! Oh, that guy. I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen blood in this game before. I, I don't remember. Alright, read the message. Electronic, electronic personal message center. Yeah, okay. Hey, Ellen, how's life on Terrors? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there, as the poor guy fell, found out. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting in that thing. Hope to hear from you soon. Uncle Louie. Can we... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That's just the message I can't remotely turn off the thing. Hmm. How about this? Skill too low. You know, you always should try to take the mine because you can sell them and make a little cash. The only time I ever actually used mines was in the... Uh, Oh, it is impossible. How do we open it? it? Was in the fight with Malak. Huh. Uncle Louie? Oh. Wait. Oh, no. Okay. We got rid of the mine. Hello, hyperdrive. I feel like... Why can't I open this? Is there a coat on it? What is this guy doing? Stun him. Alright, we got him, finally. Alright, let's just move on. I don't know what the deal is. I think I'm missing something. Done. Oh. Wait, who are you? Selvin! She's the assassin! I knew it! I okay, so. Yeah, I must have been here before. I'm sure I've done this bounty before. Alright, maybe we can... I'm sure she's probably too high level to stun. Actually, let's... Use wound. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Didn't work. Carthy, are you gonna shoot? What's going on? What? Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Um... Who are you? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Alright, whatever. I am here to collect the bounty on your head. You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. I'm sure you're amazing. Let's do one of these. And one of these. Karth. Just do this. Alright, let's Time go. To rumble. Ouch! We're getting hurt. Wait, she's going after Karth? Why are we missing her? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Karth, you need to... You need to med... med... Hold on, hold on, I'm panicking. I don't know if we need the advanced one. Ready. I think we're gonna need one too. We're pretty we're we're gonna take the advanced one. Uh, oh. Alright, alright. Woo, that was kinda
kind of close. It's interesting armor. Does she have good stuff? Hair trigger, energy cell, Selvin's heavy blaster. Cool. It's in the chest. Huh, okay. Let's see if Karth can use that blaster. The regular blaster is kind of crummy. 1 to 6 damage. It's 1 to 8. These resemble regular blasters in the same way Quar Quarian Marsh Suckers resemble mosquitoes. Sure, they both do damage, but the former definitely has the edge and kill potential. So it's okay. It's alright. It's cool. It's definitely shinier than Karth's. Ooh, we might want this. Anything else? Energy shield? Sure. Will plus two? I'll take it. Oh, uh, by the way, I have invisible headgear on, so any of the headgear that's in the vanilla game will not appear, even though I wear it. I hate the headgear in this game. It's pretty terrible. Alright, we're almost back to the end. We've got this one door left. More Black Vulcans. Alright. He's got... Oh, I should have waited until our HP was back up. Wait, 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 hold on. Get the guy that's right here. Alright, let's go get that guy. Get in there. There we go. Some good XP. A lot of loot! I'm glad we came in here. Really didn't advance much beyond the bounty. Actually, we can go back to the lower cantina and pick up the bounty. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll level up once we get back outside. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so skills. Okay, I'm gonna go one in repair, one in pers persuade, and one in computer. I think I'm gonna do that. And then more to hit, another one to hit, or maybe toughness. Damage reduction, since we have no armor, I think that might be a good idea. Powers. What are we gonna do? Physical abilities. Effect mine won't really be useful until we get throw a lightsaber? Maybe. Throw a lightsaber. We'll just get it. The problem with uh, being a Jedi from the start is you're so low level, you're going to end up with a lot of this basic stuff. Like, we can't even get cured yet. We're not level 6. We're level 5 now. So we'll get that next level. Okay. Accept. Karth. What do you got? One. Put it right right there. I uh, can't get that. I want him... I really am not a fan of Power Blast, because it only does extra 10 damage. And... S well... I feel like if you're carrying two, you want to go with Rapid Shot. What, what does he have? He doesn't even have Toughness. Let's give him toughness. Alright. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna head back to the cantina, pick up our bounty. Oh, Karth, where are you? Come on, man. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. Gonna see Zax. All right, I'm not here for small talk either. I have a bounty. <laughs> I got Selvin. 
Thanks. 300 credits! Ooh. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine with 300. Uh, that's fine. We're gonna go. Alright. Oh! Oh yeah, we had the other guy, but we needed a... a something. A permacrete something something? In order to help him. We had to go back to the upper city to get it. That's right. Alright, we're just gonna go into the hidden bit. Hidden back base. Hey! You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? That's... Oh! Wait, was I told to speak to him? Who told us to talk to him? Maybe Mission. A lot I wasn't of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Valkyrie Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So, you're gonna let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Vex are watching you. Okay, in we go. Alright, so in the Hidden Back Base, there are... Let's see, let's just roam around for a second. Okay, there's Security Dora. I haven't ever really explored this area. I'm... Well, no, that's not true. I have in... Years gone by, but... I feel like part... Hold right there. Oh. Who are you? Oh, wait what a minute! It's you? us! Calm down, Zedra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar spy. Okay, so... The question is, does Zedra look like that in the normal game? It may be when we installed our character, we just used the asset that was Zedra's head. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I don't remember. That would be... I feel like that's too detailed for like a basic character. Like if you look at Gaden, he's Zerdra. just a dude with a ever since with an eyebrow and the ring. Vulcans began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Okay, tell me about the Republic escape pods. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. You don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. 
She's too valuable to leave with the vulgar scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Swoop race? What does that have to do with it? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when well, we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. But I don't even have a swoop bike. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulker base? Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Yeah, I got past the upper city guard, no problem. The guy here. A simple disguise might wasn't work the same. on the upper city guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now. I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Okay, I'll trade. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope, I'll be back. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Okay, so we, we've got an idea of what we're supposed to do. Wow. That's amazing. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.